So with the cranial nerves, at the very top, the first ones that you recognize are these that look like little bunny ears. These are the olfactory bulbs. The olfactory bulbs are involved in your sense of smell. Okay. So going down, these are the optic nerves. Okay. The optic nerves, that's what's going to bring the information which, in which you're seeing to the brain. They cross at the optic chiasma right here. And extending down, these are the optic tracks. All right. So on the cerebral peduncles, you have these two kind of thick, flattened nerves. These are the ocular motor nerves. The ocular motor nerves are involved in eye movement. So the next two nerves that I'm going to talk about are also involved in eye movement. So I told you earlier that this is the pons and this is the medulla oblongata. In between the pons and the medulla, there's this little bitty nerve that I'm kind of flicking right here. This is the abducens, which is also involved in eye movement. Okay. On the side of the cerebral peduncle, you have... Let me find it. Okay, so you see that this little skinny guy, let me move this out of the way. This little skinny nerve right here on the side of the cerebral peduncle, this is the trochlear nerve. The trochlear nerve is also involved in eye movement. This guy who's kind of like peeled away, this big thick nerve on the side of the pons, you can see it really well in this one. Okay, this big thick nerve. This is the trigeminal nerve, and the trigeminal nerve is involved in facial sensation and facial movement. So if you think about all of the nerves that are in your face and all of the muscles are, that are in your face, it makes sense that the trigeminal is really thick.